So then guys, with so many of us enjoying iOS 18.1 with Apple Intelligence features, the great news is iOS 18.2 is just around the corner and it means that even more of you guys around the world will be able to use it because at the moment it's exclusive just to the US or US language if you set it up that on your iPhone. And the great news is it's happening in December time when we'll be able to get our hands on it according to this new leak that you can see right here. You can see here that the UK provider for SIM cards, phones and whatnot called EE, everything everywhere, they have actually said that they're gonna be taking away a feature what allows you to do Wi-Fi calling via another sort of device, say like an iPad or say your Mac or something like this and actually use your iPhone to do that calling potential. Now obviously this is a feature that's being taken away and it's not a good thing for people who are on EE in the UK, but the main thing is, is the date when they say this is gonna be happening, what is Monday the 9th of December and the reason why that's a critical date because we've even heard in the past like from Mark Gurman here saying that Apple planned to bring out iOS 18.2 around early December time and this would kind of make sense to line up with EE would say they're taking away this feature because obviously there'd be a big kind of operating system drop you know a 0.1 of an operating system 0.2 specifically that we're on here and this just makes sense now that this will be the date we'll be able to get iOS 18.2. But a lot of you guys are also wondering, well, what new features are we going to get with iOS 18.2? And also that I mentioned that more countries are going to be able to use this. And as we can see here on my iOS 18.2 beta, we can actually see now that iOS 18.2 now supports UK English or British English. And also we've been told that English in Australia, Canadian, New Zealand, South Africa um, are all getting the support for this too. So we no longer have to actually set up our phone to be US English, what is great great news to hear for anybody outside the US. And just in case you guys in Europe are wanting to know when you're going to be getting it, well, we've had some more news here that Apple even have said that they're planning to bring out Apple Intelligence to you guys in the early part of 2025. They're going to work their magic to bring it out to you guys. So great news there. But let's go over then the actual features that we're going to be getting in iOS 18.2. And first of all, what I want to go over is the brand new playground tool. So this is what the image playground looks like on the inside, inside the app. You're presented with this screen right here and we can start making a picture here. Let's say we've got myself. Um, so it's gonna make me into kind of an, there you go, AI sort of picture. Oh, I love my teeth, nice goofy teeth there. But we can actually change the theme of where I am if we wanted to do that. So let's say I'm going on an adventure. So let's see what I look like then. Uh, let's see what else we could do. We could add some bits to the costumes. We're going on it. Oh yeah, definitely gonna be a hiker if I'm gonna be an adventurer, aren't I? So we can add that in. It's gonna put like a bag on my back now. There we go. And uh, yeah, look, some different sort of styles, what it's making at the bottom there. That's quite a good one. Might keep with that one. Uh, see what else we got. I've got that one too. And let's see what else we could do. We can add a beanie, because it might be cold on my adventure. So a beanie hat, let's add that on. And yeah, that's not a beanie hat. That's <laughs> <laughs> that's not really worth. Let's try that again. Let's see if there's anything. There we go. That's a beanie hat. There we go. Oh, yeah, I like that beanie hat. Uh, oh, no, that one's good. I like that beanie hat. We'll keep with that one. And then we can change where we are. Let's change the place. So let's say I'm going up a mountain or I've been up a mountain. And we'll have a look there. There we go. I'm up the mountain. A uh, bit of camping or whatnot there. So yeah, that looks pretty awesome. Uh, there I go. Different sort of pictures in my beanie, in my hat, rucksack, hiking. You get the idea here. This is pretty awesome what you can do uh, with this. And then obviously we can change bits again. We can say I'm by a volcano instead. So a volcano might be behind me. Is that a volcano behind me? Can't actually tell. Yeah, there it is. You can see it behind me there in the background. There we go. There's the volcano. I'm not in the volcano, but it's behind me on my hike there. That is pretty cool. I must admit, it did get that beanie a little bit wrong, but let's just try something else here. Let's say I'm in the desert, for example. Let's see what I look like then in the desert. That's kind of deserty. That's a bit more better. Uh, don't think it'll be this cold though. So yeah, <laughs> maybe we'll get rid of the beanie. And I think there were some sunglasses, weren't there? Yeah, let's put some sunglasses on. So let's see what this looks like then on my hiking. I probably put hiking, yeah, I thought it's gonna do this. Hiking kind of glasses, like skiing, but we're not doing that. That's better. In the desert, they're in a sweater with sunglasses on, with my goofy teeth. And yeah, there we go, that's a good picture there. And you get the idea, we can just save this afterwards. We can say we're done. And then that picture is kept. 
But something else we could do is actually describe a picture. So we can either type it in or we can use the microphone as well if we want to. A robot driving a car. And let's see then what this generates. Let's click done and give it a second. There we go. There's my little robot inside of a car. That is pretty cool how quick that happened. That is really, really awesome. Let's have a look then. There we go. Oh, is that the same picture? Oh, no, that's cool. I like that <laughs> with his head coming out. Uh, let's make him a chef. Let's make him a chef uh, driver. He's ready to put the hat on there. Look at that. That's funny. Yeah, there he is. I like that. And uh, let's make it in the summertime. So there he is driving my chef. And uh, let's see what else we can do with him. Let's, I don't know. Let's give him a bow tie. A very, very posh sort of waiter chef or something like this. There he is. He looks pretty cool. Let's see if there's any other fun ones again. Oh, that's it. I like that. A convertible kind of car there. That is cool. So we can keep that if we want to. And yeah, there we go. We've got my chef sort of robot. I'm going to click complete. And really, guys, that is Image Playground. Now, something similar to the Image Playground tool, what you can do on your phone, is the new Genmoji tool. And let me show you this in Messages. So once you're in Messages, what you can do then, just click on the Emoji sort of button. And in the top corner here of just above the keyboard, do you see this one here? You can press this and you get the Genmoji sort of notification so you can use it and everything. And then you can describe what you want to have here, what is really, really cool. Like I said before, you can type it or what you can do instead, you can actually use the microphone to actually speak what you want to be created. And let's actually try the microphone. A cat coming out of a pie. And by the way, guys, no, I don't eat cats out of pies. Just something that first thing came into my mind there. Let's have a look. There he is. <laughs> That's great there. And the same sort of thing we can see. It's generating more pictures and we'll be able to scroll across here. Let's have a look. We've got that one there holding a pie. That one's quite cool, actually. It looks like he's coming out of a pie a bit there. So, yeah, I'm going to have that. And there we go. I've now got my gen emoji of that. And I'm not sure you've noticed at the bottom there as well, in the actual emojis, it's actually been added there underneath the emoji with the tongue sticking out. So now I can use this in the future, what is pretty cool. Now, something else that Apple did promise back in the summer at WWDC was obviously more integrations with ChatGPT. And the great news is this has come now to iOS 18.2. Let me show you a demonstration here with a picture and what you could do, for example. So this is a picture you might have seen in my last video, what I took at Disney World. And all I have to do is just activate Siri and ask a question behind it. Just watch this here. What is the sphere in this picture? So obviously you have to say the picture, but as you can see here to answer that, I'll need to send it to ChatGPT. Should I go ahead? So ask for permission to send this picture to them. So this is now going to ChatGPT and it says, <laughs> look at that. I don't know who the person is, it doesn't know who I am, but it can see that it's Spaceship Earth of Epcot at Walt Disney World. What is really, really awesome. And then for people who own a brand new iPhone 16 model, any of the iPhone 16 models, this new capture button on the side has its new features built into that too. We have the brand new visual intelligence, what allows you to say, scan, say like a bracelet like I've got right here. And now if I get my iPhone and press the capture button, hold it down, it brings up a camera. I'm um, sorry I can't get the position that well, but there is like a camera tape button at the bottom here. There we go, I've just took it there. Um, what we could do is, there we go, it's working on it right now. And I can ask a question with ChatGPT what this is basically. And you can see here, it's told me this here is a woven round cord bracelet featuring metal beads and everything. It completely can describe it. What is really, really awesome. And let's say I wanted to buy this. So I can ask, where can I buy this bracelet from? Where can I buy this? And again, it will go out to ChatGPT and figure out where you can get something like this bracelet. And there we go. You can see here, you can buy it on Etsy, you can buy it on Amazon or eBay. It's giving you great places where you can actually buy it from, which is really, really awesome. And the great news is, guys, if you don't own an iPhone 16 right now, well, I'm gonna give you the potential to get one with the iPhone 16 Pro Max giveaway that we are doing on this channel for this one right here. This here is an iPhone 16 Pro Max inside of here, and this here is the 256 gigabyte model 
Desert Titanium, what I'm going to be giving away to one lucky subscriber just before Christmas time. And all you have to do to enter into this giveaway is quite simple. Just put down into the comments below of what technology you're hoping to still get in 2024 or maybe into 2025. Maybe it is going to be a new iPhone. Maybe it's going to be one of the new M4 Macs out there. Maybe it's going to be a PS5 Pro. It could be anything. It doesn't have to be Apple related in technology. It could be anything you want that you're planning to get. Just put it down into the comments below right now. The other thing though I just want to quickly say to you guys is that obviously I'll be giving more information about the giveaway like I said near the end of December time just before Christmas and I'll be making a video for that telling you more information about the giveaway like it'll be a little form to fill in around that time too to still enter in and then also I'll be announcing the actual live stream date when I'm going to do this to give away this iPhone 16 Pro Max and if you don't want to miss out on that if you haven't done so already make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell. The other other thing just to quickly mention too is obviously that there are still lots of scammers and spammers out there people still impersonating me too telling you to whatsapp to telegram to even instagram you know direct message please do ignore these people better so you can see right here please do report them so moving on then, there are a few other little changes that are coming to just iOS 18.2 like mail, categorization and things like this. But going back to Apple intelligence, one great feature what I absolutely love is the new update, what they've done to the writing tool. So here in notes, for example, my email to Tim Cook asking him why we'd have Apple intelligence on older devices and things and other competitors do this on less RAM devices. But here we go, here's the writing tools. And obviously what you could do before, we could do all the original kind of proofreading, you know, friendly, professional, all that kind of sort of bits and pieces before. But now we can actually describe how we want it. Make this into a poem. So now with that, if I just click the done button, then my letter to Tim Cook now is gonna be changed into a poem. Well, it's pretty cool. There we go. <laughs> um, so there we go. Rewritten now as a poem. What is pretty awesome there. We can see it all being changed like that. And then we can even see the original for and everything. And then obviously just revert here, but I can also go ask it to do something else. So let's think of something a bit more fun. Uh, let me have a think here. I'm gonna use the microphone again and let's ask it this this time. Make this into a rock song. And this will be quite interesting to see that my letter to Tim Cook can be changed into a rock song. Let's have a look. This is going to be great to think if it can do this. Let's have a look. Oh, it has. It's even got verses <laughs> and the chorus. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I love the chorus. Where's the magic? Where's the dream? Apple intelligence is not what it seems. We are waiting for iOS 18.1. <laughs> <laughs> older iPhones left in the dust. I like that. Oh, look at that. Where's the magic? Where's the dream? Apple intelligence is not what it seems. <laughs> this is great. I love this. So yeah, you can rewrite it in any kind of way that you want to. What is brilliant. And with that though, guys, those are the new feature drops that we're going to be getting in iOS 18.2 and mainly specifically about Apple intelligence. Are you excited for this? And are you hoping that this does come out on December 9th, these updates? Well, let me know your thoughts in the comments below if that you're going to be getting this on day one. And with that as well, guys, if you've enjoyed watching this video, please do press the like button. And also, if you want to hear the latest Apple news, reviews and comparisons, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell. Until next time, guys. I'll see you really soon. Take care. Bye-bye.